My name is Yogashree Pradhan. I currently live in Midland, Texas. I work for Endeavor Energy Resources. I currently have my bachelor's degree in petroleum engineering, and I am studying my advanced degree while working full-time at Texas A&M University with my master's in petroleum engineering. I decided to study engineering because I've always been passionate about math and science at a very young age, and I wanted to apply those skills. After exploring math and science in elementary, middle school with math and science competitions and in projects, going to camps that encouraged engineering, I knew I wanted to focus on petroleum engineering or the engineering discipline when I was deciding where to go to college. What I love about my job is that I get to apply my technical skills or everything that I've learned in math and science and in engineering in school, and I get to take that from start to finish in those skills and how that impacts the business. Once I'm looking at how the math and science skills, how the problems that I get to solve impact the business or impact my job and how it influences decisions for senior management, you, it's a truly a rewarding experience to see something from, from start to finish. For my work, I've lived in Houston, Texas, working remotely in the Permian Basin when I worked for Texas Oil and Gas Institute. Working for Endeavor Energy Resources, since we're headquartered in Midland, I've, I've lived in Midland, Texas. I've worked in the field as a production engineer in previous jobs in Midland, Texas when working full-time, and in my current full-time role, I work in the office in Midland. The advice that I would give to high school students of why they would study engineering is that you can look at your practical skills come to reality of whatever you've learned in the classroom in math and science. Whenever you're looking at your practical applications, you're seeing how you're able to influence not just whatever you're learning in the, in the classroom, whatever ideas you're sharing in the classroom, but you get to see the ideas that come to life in outreach initiatives in science projects that you showcase in math and science competitions, whenever you're discussing with your teachers on how you can show a practical application to visual learners, those are, the, those are activities or those are opportunities to showcase your skills to, to the rest of your classmates and those who can help foster some of those, some of those skills whenever you're pursuing engineering in college. The traits that I would think that would make a good engineer is good problem solving skills, good communication skills, good teamwork skills. It's a given that you have to be good at math and science, but focusing on your soft skills and how you can work with others to solve different problems, the project, the objectives, the goals that you end up coming together or you end up formulating together becomes bigger than yourselves 